Hey there, this is just a quick tutorial on the updated Smart Solutions Group Modified Duty Process and Policy. So just briefly head to the Risk and Safety Library. I've got mine bookmarked here. Hopefully you have yours bookmarked as well. If you don't, please do. Once you're in there, go in the Incident Management section and the Reporting Form section. I did create a folder for the Modified Duty Forms because there are a few of them now. We've got, make sure you grab the one that's for your state. We've got Utah and Georgia, of course. Let me bring one up for an example. Make a little bit bigger as well so you can see. The form is pretty basic, and the forms for Utah and Georgia are the same with the exception of one line, and I'll explain that here shortly. Again, information is basic, name, ID, all of that. Again, what day the incident occurred, when they're starting their modified duty duties, uh, what hours they'll be working, what they'll be doing, where they'll be working, and then, of course, what the restrictions are they have. Of course, they'd accept ideally and then sign. The difference here is right here, Utah is three calendar days, Georgia is seven calendar days. What the basics of the ch updates to the policy is that this is for the entire country. If we have someone who is given restrictions, we want to have this form filled out as quickly as possible. Again, if the three days for Utah, seven for Georgia, if the client can accommodate restrictions, fantastic, let's get them out right away. So again, if the client can accommodate, get them out working right away, no problem. Still fill this out because you're still talking about what restrictions of what modified duties they have, even though they are working at the client. If the client cannot accommodate that, those restrictions, we do have up to three calendar days for Utah, seven for Georgia, to work out the details of what their modified duties will be. And we do need to make sure they understand for both states it is unpaid. Um, I'll leave it at that. I'll send out more information in an email. And please reach out to me if you have any questions or comments. And thank you all for all that you do.